Make sure to check out today's sponsor, Blazing Boost, one of the most reliable boosting services for Destiny. They do trials, raids, anything like that. Even do your pinnacle weapons if you guys still haven't got them. And they do have the cheapest prices around. They also have a five-star review and it's really good and it's definitely one you should check out. There'll be a link in the description. With that done, let's jump straight back to the video. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I've got one of the best Warlock builds in the game at the minute. Now this is probably one of the best builds I've made in total. So if you guys are new around here, make sure to subscribe. Drop a like down below and let's try and aim for 150 likes on today's build. I know it's a lot to ask for, but this build is really good and overpowered. Now I've nicknamed this build the God Mode build and you'll see exactly why in a short while. So let me just put the armor on. But if you guys have never seen the channel before, I've done loads of builds before. So if you're not a Warlock main, then obviously check out some of my other videos. So this one, what we're going to do is start with a subclass. So the Void Walker, and we are bottom tree. Feed the Void, consume your grenade energy to regenerate your health, grant the Devour effect. That is going to be really important for today's build. Devour kills with this melee ability fully regenerates your health for a short time afterwards kills restore additional health So this build here is based around this and it's such a good build. It's unbelievable Nova bomb creates a singularity which continually damages enemies trapped inside kills with Nova bombs grant the devour effect While the devour effect is active killing enemies extend its duration and recharges your grenade this is Honestly, this is the most underrated Warlock sort of subclass in my opinion. I don't see many people running it, but trust me, after this video, you guys will want to try this out. So now for the weapons, what we have is the Wither Horde. Now, I'm going to suggest a few weapons here to take, obviously, its place. The reason I use Wither Horde, because it's a nice sort of damage weapon, energy weapon. You can use... Other weapons like mountain top, anything like that that's going to be high damage. But if you've got osmosis on like an SMG or something like that where you can create void energy, then I recommend using that also, but it's totally up to you. Now for the secondary, we do have the recluse. Now you can use pretty much anything as long as it's void. So I thought the best void weapon in my opinion is a recluse. But like I said, if you've got anything else that you like to use, so like the claw or anything that's void, use that. And then for obviously the heavy weapon, we have got the falling guillotine. Just a nice, easy sort of god roll sword that does its work. And it is also a void, which will help. And I'll show you why having void weapons is super good and why you should really be using them. Now, coming over to the exotic, unfortunately, I've only got a standard roll. And as you can see, I've not upgraded it yet. But it is a Nezarak Sin. Now this is a really underrated helmet and to be honest I never really thought about using it in the past but it really does actually help. So as you can see here, void damage kills increase ability energy and recharge rate. So that is synergized with obviously the subclass and it's really good. We do have a recovery mod and a special ammo finder so we can get ammo. Now going over to the arms we do have an intellect mod with fastball so we can increase that grenade throw causing damage with a grenade reduces your melee so as you can see we've synergized pretty much the grenades and the melee ability which is really going to come in quite handy now for the chest piece wait i've got the wrong one on which one do we normally use uh i think it is this one here so let me sort this out because I use this for a different sort of build you're going to want to have overload grenades on and breach resonator with this so this is going to be sort of your uh, nightfall build as well because overload grenades obviously you can stop them overload champions and then this right here you can stop barrier champions so that's your sort of nightfall build chest piece and then for the legs we do have a recovery mod special ammo scavenger and enhanced sword scavenger 
and then finally the most important one in my opinion the bond with recovery and obviously because we've got a void you have to use oppressive darkness this thing is just insane this season and it's what you should be using on every void build so that's pretty much the perks now i'm going to talk over the stats right here now it's a little different because usually i'd recommend going for intellect discipline or recovery but today we've gone for recovery and intellect now that is because we don't need discipline with this build so we've pretty much got 80 80 80 i'd say like stats wise you'll see in the gameplay how quickly we get our grenades back and everything like that so you do not need a high discipline build for this mobility is okay resilience is a little bad but like i said this build is pretty much the god mode build you're not gonna die with this hardly and i'll show you how to maximize that in game but yeah that's the sort of build we've got going on i'm gonna load into some gameplay and i'm gonna show you exactly how to use this build the most effective way right so we have loaded into titan and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to this public event because there's some really hard enemies over here so it'll be a good way to show you sort of how this build works now there's a little bit of a strategy with this build you can just go ham if you want if you want to maximize it i'll show you how to do it so pretty much you want to be using your grenade as more often as not so when enemies spawn what we're going to do is we're going to chuck that grenade and hopefully we we'll get it back really quickly Now I should be able to show you here. So if we chuck that there, as you can see, once we're getting these void kills, your grenade's going to recharge super quickly. As you can tell, we're already back to half. And don't forget, I've only got 30 discipline, which is really low. You could even run a little bit higher discipline if you guys wanted. But as you can see, we've got a grenade back. And we've pretty much got unlimited nades, I'd say, if you do it correctly. Not only that, you want to be meleeing as much as possible because you are going to be regening it back as quickly as your grenade. Now, I want to show you how you can actually survive. So, say if we're taking damage, so I'm just going to let him do it. Once we've got a grenade, you can hold that down with the left bumper and you will regen your health. So, you pretty much can't die. Not only that, we do have the healing rift. So, you can just stand in this, chuck your grenades. And obviously, when you're doing Nightfalls, this build's really overpowered because you are going to obviously be running out of health really quick. You just want to get your super off quickly as possible because we have got a high intellect, so we're going to be getting that back super quickly. And as you can tell here, we're getting hit quite a bit, so all we need to do, pop that grenade and we're back to full health and we can carry on. Make sure you're melee in as well, because every melee kill you will regen your health also. But that's pretty much how to maximise this build. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Now I'm going to leave you with a little bit more gameplay. That's going to wrap it up from me. Remember to subscribe if you guys are new, and as always, I will catch you in the next one.